Well, hello again everyone, Andy Weisinger here coming to you today to talk about unplayable ball. That's exactly what I have here. I've hit a drive at Eaglewood Golf Course on hole number 12 and my ball somehow ended up in the crook of this tree. So we're going to talk about unplayable ball, how we treat it, how we take relief, what our options are. There's three parts to this rule. It's rule 19 in the rule book. Let's talk about each one individually. Rule 19.1 is very clear that the player is the only person who can declare a ball unplayable. So this ball belongs to me, I can declare it unplayable and take the appropriate drops. I can do this anywhere, it doesn't have to be in a spot like this, it could be anywhere on the golf course except in the penalty area. The second part of this rule, rule 19.2, gets into the relief options for a ball in the general area or on the putting green. We have three main options and all three of these options carry a one stroke penalty. The first option, 19.2a, is I can take stroke and distance relief, which means I can go back to where I hit the last shot from. In my case here, that would be back to the tee and I'd count the first shot, add a penalty shot, I'd three from that location. Rule 19.2b explains option number two when dealing with an unplayable ball and that is back on the line relief. So this relief option allows me to take this ball and go back on the line created from the flag and where the ball was on that line as far back as long as it's in the golf course and take a one penalty drop. Now to do that I need to establish my new reference point which keeps that flag and that original spot on that line and I can take one club length no closer to the hole from this area, hit my shot comfortably over the trees, get it on the green and try to salvage a good score. There we go. Our third option on where to take relief for a ball in the general area or on the putting green is lateral relief. So lateral re relief uses the ball as my reference point. I can take two club lengths on an arc anywhere from this point, no closer to the hole, and drop the ball with a one stroke penalty. So I would use that one, put a tee in the ground right there, one, two, Put a ball in the ground there, T in the ground there, and one, two, T in the ground right here. So now I have my arc, I can drop anywhere in this spot and have my shot with a one stroke penalty. So now my ball is in play and I'm ready to hit my shot. Rule 19.3 discusses the options of dropping a ball that is in a bunker when it is unplayable. The first three options in 19.3a are the same options as they were in 19.2. So we can take stroke and distance and drop the ball from where we hit it last, one club length from that spot. We can take back on the line relief as long as we stay in the bunker pick that new reference point on the line from where the original ball was and the flag as far as we want to go, keeping it in the bunker, one club length from that new reference point and one stroke penalty. Or we can take lateral relief, two club lengths from this spot with a one stroke penalty, dropping the new ball in play. But 19.3b discusses a fourth option and that is back on the line relief that takes the ball out of the bunker. We can take it back as far as we want, pick that new point on that reference line and put our reference point. We get one club length from there, but that option, the fourth option, carries a two stroke penalty. Well, there you have it, everyone. The unplayable ball rule, rule 19. It's important to know your options. It can save you strokes rather than trying to hack it out of an area that's going to take three or four shots. Know your options take that one stroke penalty or two if you're taking that fourth option out of the bunker, take your medicine, play for the bogey or the double to avoid the big numbers. We want to keep the sevens and eights off the card. So by knowing your options, 
you can save yourself strokes. If this helped you out, let us know. Click the like button. Share the video with a friend of yours who might find themselves in those positions quite often. And subscribe. We'd love to keep making these videos for you. Until next time, keep practicing.